Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Amber here. Today we're concluding Paul's prayer in Colossians 1. And starting in verse 13, he says, He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. I love these verses. They are so beautiful and encouraging and so full of hope because it is this picture and description of what happens when we place our hope and life in Jesus. It says that he takes us out of this place of utter darkness and despair, a life consumed of sin where we have no hope. And he transfers us into his kingdom, into his family where we belong to Christ. And, and our life of sin and darkness is no more, but we are given hope and freedom in Jesus. And we are completely forgiven of all of our sins. It's not just past ones or some of them. Like every mistake, every sin that we have ever committed or ever will commit, Jesus has completely forgiven and paid the price for those sins. And he offers us forgiveness and freedom. See, the most beautiful thing happens when we surrender our life to Jesus and have a personal relationship with him and accept him as our Lord and Savior. He takes all of our sin and he replaces it with his righteousness and his holiness. And so when God looks upon us, he doesn't see our sin and our failure and mistakes. He sees Christ's righteousness in us. And this is an amazing thing because Jesus wants us to live in the freedom that he has purchased for us by his blood on the cross. He doesn't want us to be defined by sin or mistakes or shame or failure. He says, no, I have purchased you. You belong to me and your purpose and identity and and the reason for your living is in Jesus. And when we truly accept this and believe it, and it should change how we live and think and everything that we do. And see, when our identity is in Jesus and we say, I am valuable and loved because the savior of the world has purchased me and called me his own, we don't have to be consumed with what other people think of us or live life trying to please everyone else. We can only focus on loving and saying thank you to Jesus. We don't have to worry about what's happening in the world around us because we are safe and secure in Jesus and see, we don't have to, to live in fear. We don't have to live in doubt or secrecy or shame. We can just be free in who Jesus has created us to be. We can be free knowing that we are completely forgiven and we are loved and redeemed and valued by the creator of the universe, the God who sent his son to save us and redeem us and purchase us and call us his own. And this is good news. This is the gospel and this is what transforms lives. And so I pray that you would just meditate on these verses today, that you would just be reminded of the gospel, the, the truth and the hope of salvation that God loves you and he has completely forgiven you and you are part of his family forever. You are safe and secure in him. And I pray that you would allow the Holy Spirit to change your life as you accept this and make this your identity and your reason for living. So I hope you have a great day.